Sparkle Squad, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jasmine and welcome to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my experience at sectionals. If you guys have watched my channel or if you've watched any of my previous videos, you know that I recently just got back from sectionals and I wanted to share with you guys things that I learned while I was there and also like the different experiences that I had. Alright guys, so first off, I wanted to start by saying that honestly, I wasn't expecting to make it to sectionals at all. I didn't get an email saying that I was an alternate or anything, I didn't know anything about it at all, so I just assumed that I didn't make it. And a week before the competition, before I was supposed to compete, I got a call on Wednesday, and it was 6pm at night, and I got the call that saying that I qualified for sectionals, and the competition actually started the Tuesday after that, and I would have been competing the Wednesday after that, so I had like basically a week that's prior to when I got the call. So it was pretty crazy. When I got the call, I literally started crying and I was like honestly so excited, but it was like, it was really weird <laughs> when I heard them say that I qualified for sectionals. So when we first got the call from US Figure Skating saying that I qualified for sectionals, when we got the call and they asked us for an answer, we originally said that we weren't going to go because we thought that I haven't been practicing my programs and I wasn't prepared at all because I'm keeping both of my programs for next season, I'm keeping the music, but we are going to be changing both the programs a little bit and since I didn't know that I was an alternate or anything, I didn't get an email notifying me or anything about that, like I just stopped working on my programs because I was just getting ready working on my jumps and my spins and stuff like that for next season because I knew that my programs were going to change so I didn't keep working on them and we knew that I wasn't ready because I haven't run programs for a while so originally we said no that I wasn't going to go to sectional. So the lady that we were talking to while we were on the phone sent us like an email with like a form that we had to sign saying that we weren't going to go to sectional so that they would have a written copy of us saying no. But after she sent us the email, we didn't say anything, we didn't respond to it yet. And I talked to my coaches and I told them that I got the call that I qualified for sectionals. And they told me that it was it would be a great experience for me to go, especially since it's my first time going to sectionals. I've never made it to sectionals before. It's my first time qualifying. And they said that even just qualifying for it is like a big step from what I've been doing previous years. So they told me that I, it was my decision and that they would support me with whatever I wanted to do. But I think that they were the ones that like really um, encouraged me to try and go for it. So we ended up actually sleeping on like the thought of going to sectionals and the next morning we called the lady and we told her that we were that we decided that we were going to go to sectionals and that gave us 24 hours to finish like signing up for the competition and uploading all of the files and everything that was needed for the competition. So after we told them that we were going to go to sectionals, they opened up the registration and we signed up for the competition. But since it was so like it was so early, like so close to the competition, the music deadline had already passed, and so has the PPC deadline. So those weren't open for me, and they weren't able to open those up in EMS. So what we had to do is we talked to the lady, and she told us to email her the copies of my music and the copies of my my PPC and like the music copyrights and stuff like that. And we emailed it to her, and she told us that she received everything and that everything was like covered and settled. So after signing up and everything, I basically had three days to get ready for sectionals, so it was a really short timeline. So we left for the competition on Monday and we drove. The competition was in Boston, so it was around like almost a 24 hour drive if you include stops and everything, so it was really long. And we got there around Tuesday afternoon. And when we got there, we went to go and check out the rink. I've never been to this rink before, so I wanted to see what it looks like. And whenever we go to any competition, we always go to the rink first before we go and check into the hotel because I always want to see what the rink looks like. So that's where we went. We went to the rink, we checked it out. Alright guys, so when we got to the competition, we went to go and like sign in and stuff like that and check in for the competition, and when we got there, they told me that they hadn't heard anything about me, and that they didn't have my music, my PPC, my music copyright, nothing for the competition of the event, and I also didn't have my, my lanyard, like they didn't have one specifically made for me with my name on it, so they had to like take this one. This one's actually Lindsay Thorngren's because she's like the senior lady and she withdrew from the competition before it started, so they gave me her lanyard and they put the sticker over it and wrote my name on it so basically I don't even have like an original sectionals lanyard either because they have to like make me mine but it's pretty cool that I got Lindsay Thorngrens though <laughs> So after that, we had to talk to the lady from US Figure Skating that I originally sent all of my stuff to and asked her like how come my stuff wasn't at the competition. But while we were there, they did give me an email that I was supposed to send my music and my PPC to so that they would like directly get it there at the competition. So I did that and 
it was just a whole big thing and honestly I got really like shocked and surprised that nobody had like my music or my anything and like nobody even knew who I was basically but the lady still said that she had everything covered so it was kind of weird so when we got back to the hotel that day, I sent everything, my music and my PPCs and stuff like that that they needed to the competition, and they told us that when we got to the rink the next day to go a little bit earlier so that I could go and listen to my music like before the competition, listen to the cuts of my songs, and make sure that they were the right ones. So I ended up competing my short program on Wednesday and the experience was completely different from like what I'm used to. I've never skated in like a stadium or like an arena rink and this felt huge because it had seats all around. Honestly, it felt like so amazing. Their ice was so nice, but it was so different because the entire rink felt so big. And on the ice, I'm so used to having like the lines, like the red and blue lines and like the hockey circles and stuff like that. And there was nothing on this ice at all. It was like completely just blank sheet of ice and it had like their logo in the center and it was nice and big and stuff like that and the entire rink felt huge <laughs> like I've already said this so many times and I also told you guys in the video on Wednesday um but I felt like a little ant skating around on the ice and I was also skating around with like the like best of the best of like the east coast skaters so it was a really nice experience being able to skate among them and seeing like all their jumps and spins in person I competed my free skate on Friday and it was such a nice experience. My skates definitely weren't the best. They were pretty bad and I'm not super happy with the skates that I put out, but I barely had any time to prepare. So I'm still happy that I was able to make it through my programs at least. And it was still just like a really nice experience and I wouldn't change it for anything because it was just great, like a great feeling being able to skate on that ice in that arena in like this type of environment because I've never been in such an environment like this before so it was a really nice experience. And after the free skate, I wanted to go and check out like the pictures and the videos, obviously, because I was thinking about getting pictures because I didn't get pictures from any of my competitions this year. So I was like, oh, it would be cool if I could get pictures here. And I went and I asked them about it and they told me that like they gave me the link and everything that I had to search for my name and my name wasn't anywhere. Like I couldn't find it at all. So I didn't get any of my pictures or videos, which I'm kind of sad about. So that was basically everything from like this like sectionals experience. I did learn that I need to like start working harder or something and for next season I want to try and push myself more so that I can make it in like the top 18 for like to make it automatically to sectionals and not be an alternate because if I get an alternate spot next year and they call me like this late then I probably think I'm not gonna go because this like time span was so short I barely had any time to prepare and I don't want to just like go to sectionals again just to like Gate. like I want to actually try and do good next time I make it to sectionals it was still a great experience though but next time I hope I can do better even though my skates weren't as good as I was hoping and it wasn't the best I'm still so happy that I didn't miss out on this opportunity because it was a really great learning experience all right guys so this is where I think I'm going to end the video off it was still a great experience being to go to sectionals and I just wanted to share with you guys what it was like being in that type of environment and stuff like that. But I want you guys to comment down below if you guys have ever been to sectionals or nationals because I would love to know. But this is the end of the video. I hope that you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye!